Welcome to AP Design Digital Tools. Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to look at creating a little bit more organization with your uh, files. Uh, many of these things I try to do on the fly, but actually very few of these things I do on the fly. It's more of when I'm actually working on something at home that I'll use these organizational tools. But when I'm making these videos, it's just too time consuming for me to go through and, and, and organize everything. So um, this is what I want to talk about. So the first thing you might want to do is, is create a file that has a few kind of colors that you've decided on that you want to make kind of the, the optimal colors that you know what they mean just uh, because you've kind of gotten used to your palette. So I have organizational groups, I have parameters, and I have target geometry and I have bake geometry and I've given them all very specific colors. So I'm going to bring those into this file on louvers. I'm just going to paste them in. Now, there's a couple of things that we should go over on paste. Uh, when you're bringing in components from kind of somewhere else, uh, oftentimes when you just use the control V, uh, it, it's possible that you don't see those those uh, components, you have to kind of scroll out and find where they're actually pasted. So one thing you might want to use is this uh, paste in center. That paste in center then always is centered within uh, the canvas you have open at that moment, or displayed at that moment. So here we have organizational groups. And so for parameters, let's just kind of take a look at that. I have uh, a few parameters. This is, um, I think this is like a depth multiplier or uh, depth uh, maximum. All right, so the first thing would be to label all of your uh, curves and make sure that you haven't left any uh, sliders kind of out and about. Sometimes you use a slider and you actually lock in the number and you don't really need to have it over here because it's not really controlling anything. But grab all the ones you are controlling. And so I have these, this is the geometry things are based on. So I'm going to first use, this is target geometry. Make that my default color. Select those two and put a group around them. And then these are the parameters. So I'm going to right click on that, make a color default, and make those right there. And so then that starts to give me a visual of where things are. I always try to stack those on the left anyway. Um, other things are uh, important. I actually decided to create a diff um, one more. And we'll call this important geometry. These are, these are the things that uh, you want to know where they are at, at any given moment because you, you might be tying uh, things to them later on. So um, I'm not sure exactly what might be important here. Uh, perhaps the location of of where my geometry, my louvers are going to be located. So maybe I, I go ahead and make that, those two things, um, important. And what I'm doing is I'm double clicking inside of uh, the group and it gives you three different kind of variations of how you might want to see uh, this geometry or these components displayed, that group displayed. Uh, other things that might be important, maybe that's about it. All right, so then uh, target geometry, I use parameters, I use important geometry. The other thing might be to start to organize uh, the various uh, parts of the, the project or the script. So in this, uh, more than likely most of this if not all of this is kind of very specific. You know, maybe I would designate this part and 
and bring down a scribble. This is where I define mover height. We'll go ahead and add that. So I basically select the group and select the object I want to add, and then I'm going to add the group. So there's that. And then perhaps over here will actually be the uh, construction. Uh, I didn't mean to select that, so I'm going to select it and then select the group, and I can remove that from the group. And we'll call that the louver construction. So what that does is it, it really starts to give myself a sense of what is happening in each of these uh, pieces. And one can imagine a, a script with like 300 components and it would get a little hairy. All right, the other thing I want to cover in this is that uh, you may want to create a uh, a file that has this kind of information and that's just becomes your default file but before you do that you also may want to customize a few of your kind of settings so this is the uh, typical um, layout uh, for normal and selected as far as the color palette and you may decide that you know you really like uh, something a little bit more offbeat you know so maybe you're you're going with pink and, uh, and lime green, or you, you go with green and some kind of dark brown. You can change the alpha of both of these, uh, and then you can create that as your kind of default uh, color palette. And so with that, I might you know go in and decide that that's going to be my default um, grasshopper file so I'm going to just save as and uh, call this um, grasshopper and then I'm going to go into uh, file and preferences and go down to the bottom of files and call this out as my template. So which one ever one and then save it. Now I've already got one so I'm not going to change that. But there you go. That's a way of kind of creating not only kind of more organization uh, but also customization within your grasshopper file.